in SQL we have an area where we can actually do set operations. I mean set is, is a branch of discrete mathematics but when it comes to uh, databases and SQL you can perform set operations by using the keyword union, intersection and minus. MySQL supports union only, intersection and minus can be mimicked by some variation of the SQL itself. So if you look at the union operation, set 1 has 1, 4, 10 data elements and set 2 has 9, 10 and 11. If you do set 1 union set 2, we're going to get all the data from set 1 and set 2 and there won't be any duplicates. So if you look at the left bottom portion of the slide, you have query 1, union query 2. And one of the things you have to be cognizant about is that column 1 and column 2 in both queries need to have same data type. When you're doing the union operation, the columns that you select in query 1 need to match the columns from query 2. When I say match, the two columns need to have similar data types between the two queries. Also, you have to make sure that the number of columns between the two queries are the same and the order in which the columns are listed is also the same. And also have similar data pertaining to each other. If you use a slight variation to union and use union all, it will not remove the duplicate. So you will have duplicate values if you just do union all. So it's a simple operation which brings data from two tables together and appends data from query 1 to query 2. We will create two tables, set 1 and set 2. And we will insert some data into those two tables. So let's see what we have in set 1. Right, so we have four values, Eddie, George, Charlie, and David. Let's see what's in set two. So we have Eddie and Charlie. So let's say we want to bring data from both the tables. Eddie and Charlie is in set two. So set two is a subset of set one. So when we run the union statement, so the first query is select star from set one and the query two is select star from set two, we should get all the records from set 1 as they are common in set 2 as well. So let's run this. We should still get the same value for records. Great. But let's say if we use union all, we should get six records. Even two of them are duplicates. So see we get Eddie and Charlie. The third type of set operation is minus. Basically set 1 minus set 2 will give you elements that are in set 1 but not in set 2. If you look at the example on the slide, set 1 has 1, 4, 10 data elements and set 2 has 9, 10, 11. If you do the minus operation there, you will get 1 and 4 as a result, just as a mathematical operation of subtraction. MySQL does not support minus keyword, but we will still achieve the same results by using not exist or not in keyword. As far as the syntax goes, it is the opposite of what we did earlier for the intersection lecture. So instead of exist, we will use not exist, and instead of in, we will use not in. For the lab exercises, I have attached the SQL scripts to the lecture notes which will help you go through the minus-like operations within MySQL. Second type of set operator is intersection. So set1 intersect set2 is going to only bring back whatever is common between those two sets. So MySQL doesn't support the intersect keyword, but we can get the similar result by using exists or in operator. So again, we're going to have query1 exists and then we're going to use the query 2. So in query 2, we're going to be joining the two tables together based on column 1 and column 2. 
And when we run this, it's going to only bring back the records that are common on those two columns. Similarly, we can use the in operator. In the in operator, we don't need to physically join the columns. We can just do a lookup. Think of in as a lookup. So, so select column one, column two from table A where. So in the brackets, we give what columns we want to look up. Column one, column two in the second query. And then we select the columns that we want to look up to. In my experience, exist performs better with data. And in is a little bit slower from a performance perspective. So we want to get back data that set one and set two have in common. So if you look at the version one of the script, so we are saying select star from set one, where X and Y are the columns of set one in, and then we have open brackets and close and select star from set two. So this will bring only those records that are common between those two sets. So as you remember, set one had four records and set two had two records that were present in set one. So we should get two records back. Great, so we have Eddie and Charlie that comes back. We can also run the same command using the exists keyword. With exist, we have to use a join condition. So we'll select star from set one. I'm giving it an alias A, where exists, open brackets, select star from set two, alias B, where, so this join conditions on column one and column two needs to be present in the second query to link it to the set one. So this physical linkage needs to exist when we're using this type of SQL. When we're using in, we did not need it the join condition. So that's kind of the apparent syntax difference, but exist is faster when there's a lot of data. So we get the same result. Great.